in figure 7, point O has coordinate 0, 0. Point P lies on the graph of y equals 6 minus x squared. And point B has coordinates 2 root 3, 0. If OP equals BP, then the area of triangle OPB is A, 1.7, B, 3.0, C, 3.5, D, 4.7, or E, 5.2. So let's look at what we want to find. We want to find the area of triangle OPB. Now, there's more than one formula for the area of a triangle, but the most simple formula, the one we should always try and use first if we can, is half the base times the height. It's the first formula we taught regarding triangles. Another important one is Heron's formula, but let's, let's try a half base times height first. If we, if we don't need Heron, we won't, we won't look at it. So what's the base of our triangle? Well, the triangle's OPB, the base here is OB, and we're told the coordinates of B, B has X coordinate 2 root 3. So we know the length of the base, it goes from 0 to 2 root 3, so it has a length of 2 root 3. What about the height? Well, we're told that OP is equal to BP, which means we're dealing with an isosceles triangle here. So if we drop a line down in the middle of the isosceles triangle, what we'll find is these two lines will be equal. This will bisect our line OB. So this, if the line is 2 root 3, if we bisect it, then it's going to be root 3. It's going to be half of 2 root 3. So the x value of P is root 3. If we put that into our equation relating Y and X, we see Y is equal to 6 minus root 3 squared. So 6 minus root 3 squared is 6 minus 3, which is 3. So the y value is 3, and that's actually the height of our triangle. The y value of p is how high up our triangle is going. So we know the base, we also know the height is 3. So we get half times 2 root 3 times 3, half and 2 cancel out. We're left with 3 root 3. If we put that into our calculator, we'll see 3 root 3 is about equal to 5.2 which is one of our answers, QED.